Over 600 Taliban fighters have been killed by Afghan resistance forces in Panjshir Valley. Fahim Dasti, spokesperson of the Afghan resistance force, took to Twitter and said that more than 1,000 Taliban fighters have been captured and imprisoned. Afghan resistance forces claimed that the landmines around Panjshir Valley have slowed down the movement of Taliban fighters towards the valley. Panjshir is the last remaining province in Afghanistan that is not under the control of the Taliban. <laughs> Afghanistan resistance forces in the valley are led by Ahmad Masood, son of late ex-Afghan guerrilla commander Ahmad Shah Masood and Afghanistan's ex-president Amrullah Saleh. The war between the Taliban and Afghan forces is likely to intensify as Panjshir has refused to surrender before the Taliban. Panjshir is situated 150 kilometers northeast of Kabul. The valley tucked into the Hindu Kush mountains is known for its natural defenses. Panjshir did not surrender to the Soviet forces in the 1980s, nor to the Taliban during its first regime. Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence, ISI, Director Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid is in Kabul to meet the Taliban officials. Faiz Hamid and a delegation of senior Pakistan officials are expected to meet the Taliban ahead of its government formation in Afghanistan. Faiz Hamid said that they are working for peace and stability in Afghanistan and said that there is nothing to worry about and everything will be okay. Pakistan is one of the very few countries that have extended support to the Taliban after it took over the country. Taliban fighters have been deployed at Torkham, a major crossing between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Pakistani frontier forces say they are in a high state of alert after the deployment of Taliban fighters at the border. The Taliban has whitewashed the painting on the walls of Kabul and painted them with Islamist texts and quotes from Taliban leaders. This was apparently done to celebrate the departure of US and NATO troops from the country. Schools and banks have been reopened in Afghanistan after the Taliban took over the country. People were seen standing in a queue outside Kabul banks to withdraw money. Authorities have limited withdrawals to the equivalent of $200 a time. <laughs> Afghan children attend classes in Kabul following the Taliban takeover last month. A female teacher said that they will continue working and that she has so far not faced any problems conducting classes.